Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today we will talk about semester second assignments for the subject decision science. Uh, and this is for September 2023 cycle, which is not a regular cycle. Uh, this is basically a backlog cycle. And uh, those students who might uh, not submit their assignments in the previous cycle, that is June 2023 cycle, or uh, might get copy case for the assignments or even if they get uh, less marks uh, in the exams as well still they will get an option to upload the assignments so basically uh, if if you have not cleared that particular subject uh, then you will get an option to submit the assignments irrespective of whether you get the copy case in the exams or you will get the uh, in the assignments or you will get a show course notice during the uh, exams uh, why? Because uh, NMIMS provides you a second opportunity to upload the assignments. I would personally recommend to submit the assignments because at the end of the day, it will be a uh, it's a win-win situation. Why? Because uh, suppose uh, earlier, if you get uh, might be you are not able to clear the exams and uh, uh, you get around 22 marks uh, in your assignments uh, so in this time suppose if you upload the assignment again so there are two possibilities either you will get marks more than 22 or maybe equal or maybe less than marks so in the case where you get more than 22 marks like 24 or 25 then it will be add on part second if you get less marks then uh, the NMIMS uh, will work on the policy of the best of two, right? So if you get suppose 19 marks, then also the 22 of your earlier marks will be considered. So it's a win-win situation. I would recommend to submit the assignment irrespective of whether you have not cleared the exam or not or assignment or not, right? If I talk about the decision science subject, uh, this is a little bit tricky one. Uh, it uh, contains the numericals, so you should be clear about uh, uh, the statistics. If you are good at statistics, then this is one of the most easiest subject. If you are not still, I will be there to help you and uh, I will just guide you what what content to be written and how you can score more marks for, the, uh, for these questions by referring the different content from the book or maybe Google. Maybe we will discuss in the questions. If I talk about the uh, subject assignment so courses decision science are applicable for september 2023 cycle so it consists of three questions first second third a and third b and each question consists of uh, is of uh, 10 10 marks the third question is of two part third a and third b which is of five five marks and the word count is thousand words but uh, it's not applicable for decision science subject why because this is more or less a uh, numerical based question but still if if they have asked some question like if I talk about the other line chart or maybe they will tell you like if, if you need to calculate the probability it's not like you directly start uh, uh, calculating the probability you just need to give some background you need to uh, provide some introductory statements uh, to just discuss that part and after that you will just work on that particular question or the numerical part which is being given right so these are the three questions uh, don't worry if you get around uh, around 650 or 700 marks uh, words then it's totally fine for this decision science subject right so let's see uh, what are the different question what content to be written what numericals how we can just solve it so let's see the very first question says the determine the probabilities for the below given statements and write your interpretation using the following data where they have provided the two uh, different TV serials. The one is Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti and the second one is Anupama. And uh, they have just uh, taken some uh, some uh, data of the 50 people, uh, mostly females. So here, like if you say that uh, how many girls uh, or females don't like Anupama as well as Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti, so the answer will be 15. Uh, you like Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti, but you don't like Anupama, it will be 5 and, by, and the same way you are just calculating, right? Uh, the, now, they have asked you a different set of questions. What is the probability that randomly selected person has said yes, Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti? Randomly person has said I don't like Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti. Randomly selected person said yes, I like Anupama. Randomly selected person said I don't like Anupama. Probability that randomly selected person says like Anupama as well as said like Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti. Uh, what is the probability that randomly selected person has said like Kyuki Sasbi Kabhi Bahuti also said don't like Anupama prior to that. 
do not use any software for the calculation you are advised to show all the necessary steps of calculations so uh, the question is pretty much clear that they are asking the different set of questions right uh, like out of 50 people see these are the 50 people and out of these 50 if you randomly select then what is the probability that uh, they will say kyuki uh, sasbi kabhi bahuti it's just pretty much obvious like total persons who like kyuki sasbi kabhi bahuti will be this part right yes and yes 30 total number of people who don't like kyuki sasbi kabhi bahuti is 20 total number of people who like anupama who don't like anupama is 20 and who like anupama is 30 so if you want to calculate like if i say who like anupama it's 30 out of 50 uh, who who don't like anupama it's 20 divided by 50 is pretty much straightforward right let's see uh, what content it's not like you directly start solving and you just show that divide by this this will give you this output no firstly you just need uh, need, uh, need uh, provide some context which relates to the probability you need to talk about the different parameters the different structure of the probability and after that we just work on the solving the numerical question if i talk about the book we need to refer page number 101, 105 and 115. Let's see if I'm just going to the page number 101. So 101 talks about the probability. Just read this content. This is very basic like what is the probability all about. You can just uh, uh, just uh, go through it uh, or maybe if you want to Google out, you can just Google out about the probability. The second part comes as the structure of the probability. If I talk about the structure, so structure simply states like what are the various contents like what is an experiment, what is an event, what are the different elementary events, what is the sample space, what is the sample population, what is the union, intersections, all about. So uh, or mutually exclusive events, independent events. You can just give one or two liners out of this or maybe you can just give one or two stuff that's totally fine. After that comes the actual part which is on page number 115. So if I am just going to the page number 115. So 115 question talks about, yeah, so if you see, uh, we have just given some additional laws, right? If I talk about the first four parts, these are pretty much straightforward. But if I talk about the fifth, sixth part, it's a little bit tricky. So you can just refer to these additional laws where it's a P, P X of union of X. It will be X plus Y minus X intersection of uh, Y. So you can apply this formula. You can just go through this example it's very easy you if you just go to this question or if this uh, particular question all your concepts will be clear for this particular question so i would recommend to just go through this like what are the independent event what are the mutual exclusive events you will get a lot more understanding and you can easily able to solve this first question so i think the uh, first question is pretty much clear and probability you might have studied uh, during the childhood classes in 9 10 so you can easily solve this question now moving to our second question, the second question talks about calculate the correlations among all the possible combinations of variables using the data and write their interpretations. You are advised to use the Excel or any other software for the calculation of correlations, right? So if I talk about uh, this particular question, so we are having four different variables, right? One is urban number of bank offices, urban amount credit, urban amount deposit and urban number of accounts, right? So how, what are the total possible permutation combination? Like if, if I see this A, B, C and D, then A to B, A to C, A to D, these are the three permutation combination. Then B to C, B to D, these are two more. And last one is C to D. So there are total six uh, combinations of variables which you can use and you need to derive the correlation. Okay. You are advised to use Excel, so I will just show you how you can use this Excel and how you just do the calculation. But I would recommend to do the uh, calculation on the Word document and after that, uh, maybe you can just use Excel or maybe there is a formula which is given in the book. So you use that particular formula and uh, just put the values and just show how it will happen in the Excel. Right, uh, the page number 271 is the only page where you will get the, all the stuff which is being needed for our second question the correlation it's it's talk about how the two variables are related to each other you need to talk about this then we need to talk about the different types of uh, coefficients like one is a positive negative and no in positive it's a strongly positive weakly positive in negative we have a strong uh, negative weak negative and there's no correlation these are the different parameters right 
then how we can just calculate uh, the correlation so we are having the pearson product moment correlation coefficient the formula is this x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by summation of x minus x bar square y minus y bar square some uh, the square root right so you need to put or maybe you can use this anyone uh, totally it's totally fine you can use like if if i just show you in the excel format like suppose if i'm just taking a b c and d and uh, maybe i'm just skipping c and d you can just two at a time right uh, i'm just putting the values as this 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 i'm just putting any any just uh, 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 random values right so firstly you just put this x right you can just put all these then you need to calculate the x bar so what is x bar in this case so you just need to sum of all these calculate this divided by 4 so 25.5 right after that you need to put x minus x bar so you just put 25 this sorry 25.5 you just put it so four times then you need to show x minus x bar the same you can use for all these four the similar you calculate y minus y bar right so this is x minus x average then you calculate y minus y average y minus y average then you need to square of these so squaring of this means it's simply this into this similarly this is you are doing similarly you need to do the square of this and then put all these values into this formula like summation of this into this divided by this into this so you will get the values right after that there is one way so that you can just validate your results whether it's correct or not and that is very important so how you can just go if you see we are having the home insert page here formulas so just go to the more functions in statistical there is one formula for correlation in correlation in array 1 you just put the first 4 in the second I am putting next 4 in the you need to select as per the question like if I talk about the uh, question in question we are having these 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you need to select that particular array and sorry going back to this and you just put ok right so the coefficient is coming as 0.179 right so this is the way how you can just cross check that whether the calculation is correct or not this is one way the second thing which i would recommend once you are done with the question just mention that whether it's a strong positive strong negative like if zero you can say there is no relation if it's positive and uh, see in in my case it's uh, just taking a hypothetical example it's coming as 0.17 which is a very low right so i can say that it's a uh, it's you can say it's uh, a correlation it's a positive one but it's a moderate one not a strong one so it's better to just uh, show uh, even you just uh, uh, derive the interpretation because in the question it's clearly be asked that write your interpretation that's very important so don't miss that part you just don't think that you just calculate and you are done no you need to give your interpretation right so second question is also clear okay now moving to our third question the third question says in Maharashtra there are 20 big companies in the IT sector out of these 15 companies are in Mumbai what is the probability that at least two companies are from Mumbai if total three are selected to form a sample do not use any software you are advised to show all the necessary steps of calculation so here it's pretty much straightforward like out of 20 15 companies are from mumbai right so if i talk about what's the percentage of the companies in mumbai 15 out of 20 it's it's somewhere around 3 by 4 it's coming at 75 percent so 0.75 is the positive probability number of proba the probability of not having the companies in mumbai out of 20 is 5 so 5 by 20 it's 1 by 4 so it's coming as 0.25 so 0.75 is p like uh, if, uh, i'm just going uh, uh, in detail in the next uh, slide so there is one thing which is p and 1 minus p it's the uh, probability of happening that event and probability of not happening the event so happening the event is 0.75 not happening the event is 0.25 
so we need to talk about this so you need to go to the page number 161 so here we need to talk about what is binomial distribution binomial simply the happening of the event is either 0 or 1 you can just go through this that's a very basic thing and in this we have given one example in the book for example suppose 10% of the population it's very relatable to the thing which is being asked in the question so once you go through this particular example now you will easily understand okay this this was the ask in the question and you can easily write uh, you can easily solve this particular question it's very straightforward right even it's mentioned a solving how to you can just solve a binomial expression it's clearly mentioned over there so i would recommend to just go through this is basically a combination of the events and you can just easily get the output of using this particular formula where we discuss what is p p is the success 0.75 Q, Q is the failure, so P is success, Q is failure, right? So P is 0.75, Q is 0.25, N is the total events, 20. And if I talk about 3, are selected at random, so X is 3. We are all done, everything is mentioned, just put the values calculated, very simple, okay? So third A question is clear, make sure it's, it's only uh, 500 words, so you can just give a brief about what is uh, binomial uh, uh, what is binomial probability, binomial distribution, even you can just go through, no need to write this particular example, you can just simply write what is a prior normal statement all about and what is binomial distribution, so you can just take 5 or 10 lines out of it and it's, it's done, right. Now moving to over the last question, third P, draw a line chart using Excel for the following variables and write your interpretations, looking at the graph of the numbers, what type of correlation is suspected? between the crop area of wheat and cereals so here it's mentioned here is mentioned you have been mentioned the area under wheat cultivation under wheat cultivation under the cereals right so uh, maybe you can just uh, get the values right i have just taken four values right you can just get all the values and how you can just create a line chart you just go to the insert in insert uh, maybe i just need to check what is a line chart yeah this one and maybe you can just draw this uh, you can just choose any one of these whatever you want like i'm just choosing this and this is done right it's it's very simple so you just need to fetch all the values uh, which is being mentioned in the question and after that you need to just draw this particular chart right after that we need to talk about the correlation so going back uh, to over 271 page it's a 500 words make sure you are not exceeding the words so we need to just talk about correlation in crisp and after that we need to talk about the formula don't go in details and after that this is the way how you can just uh, show the diagram so that uh, you can easily say that whether it's a strong correlation or weak or no correlation positive negative you need to give your interpretation into this again this is very important because you need to talk uh, what is being asked and how the uh, how the area and the cultivation of wheat and courses are interrelated uh, whether related or if interrelated then what type of correlation both are having so i think this is all about the third b question and we are done with all the three questions uh, uh, all the three questions are pretty much clear what needs to be written how you can write even we talk about we've just provided all the values you simply need to punch in and get the answers uh, still if you have any doubts or facing any issue related to assignment feel free to just connect to me at ngsc.mba.gmail.com and if you like this video do like do comment and stay connected to my channel for further videos for this semester and for other semesters as well thank you so much guys